So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Jupiter Nasalis 4. We have course linked with the Ambana Fantasy mod as Kalinta. And we are currently, well, expanding to, uh, expanding to our limits. I mean, we kind of already are beyond our limits in terms of expanding, but that's a minor fact. <laughs> Uh, we are also coring everything neatly after we get the claims from the missions. We're doing everything nicely in order. That's what we're doing. So, but we have something to do at the moment. We are, of course, uh, at war. So let's finish that up. We are also building another army. We are also slightly in debt. I think it was just from an event or something. Or maybe at war. It, something happened. We are also, uh, with Nusas there, we are only gonna take Kastanov, because I don't think we're gonna get any kind of immediate uh, claims on anything else. As far as I can recall. There we go. We should also be alright with fighting. Okay, we are alright with fighting. We're actually pretty decent on the manpower. I like it. That's vampires. Okay. Just making sure that I see everything correctly. And also the game just fe for a second felt a little bit loud and I just wanted to check if that is really the case. But no, everything should be ridiculously quiet as I always have it in uh, this game. This is not Gnosis tier. Wait. Oh, let me... Don't... Are you retreating to one... No, wait. Where are you retreating to? That's odd. It's also your capital at the moment, right? Yeah. I guess. Common Blood is just getting beaten up by vampires. No. <laughs> One problem. So. Okay, this one worked. Huh? Oh! Okay. Cool. Fantastic. That's of course pretty nice. Okay, this dude came from somewhere. I don't know where. This is... Wait, this is 100%. Okay. And we have claims on this, obviously. Uh, a few people are gonna join that, but nothing major. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna get to anything. Those are all fairly weak enemies anyway. So we're not gonna go further than that. Uh, war operations, of course. Someone needs to pay for me exp uh, using my armies. Uh, you don't need to return any course, I don't care. We can tie it actually to end the Orcish Purge. That gives us large tolerance in Greece as well. And I think we are in need of that. Oh no, they are integrated, so I guess it doesn't matter. So continue with the Purge. So they, they all come to me. <laughs> but you can give up your claims in my territory. And I guess elsewhere as well. Lovely. I have control over that. What's this mission, right? Yeah. Own a religion, devastation, less than one. Owned by Corintar. Doesn't need my culture though, that's good. So the devastation itself is manageable. We of course have to build a castle there anywhere, a anyway, right? For the, one of these. Do you want a cathedral? Wait, the pole, and I guess the other one wants to build a castle. Well, it doesn't even need a castle. It just wants actually military buildings, but not a castle. Do you guys want me to build a castle there? That might be a thing. All province and castle enough. Okay, they want me also to be a coronet here at this point. So I guess we'll have to see when that comes around. So, I guess at this point we're kind of just waiting until all of the uh, stuff has been undevastated. Also this fort here needs to be finished. Let's also do this. Okay, loan free. It's always a good sign. Uh, not everyone is happy. You guys aren't quite happy yet. Okay. Roaming band of half work settle? Sure. 
Then I guess we're gonna chunk up on that number here. Uh, we're not gonna do another... Actually, we do have the money, kind of. We could probably go for another siege uh, army. Hmm. Hmm. Wouldn't hurt. That much? Oh, and the price just went down. Okay. <laughs> Playing head separatists. No worries, I have forts everywhere. Everyone's protected. Hmm. I mean, if I have the choice, I probably would uh, probably put it here. We also have this one going on, but that we need less devastation. I also kind of need to remember what the options here were. As well. I mean, we can turn them into a... Uh, There we go. Sweet. And there we get something very important. Leader Siege. Lovely. And Siege Ability. Uh, if I do that, five more than... Uh, no, then I cannot do enough of these guys. That makes no sense. We're gonna do infantry this until that is full. After all, we cannot make a full stack anyway, so we might as well start with cheap stuff. Earth tragically died. Do we just get a more devotion? Or we could just do another merchant. No, I think we're actually gonna get back on the devotion. 422 Arabella. Uh, we are obviously gonna do that. So. Okay, it seems like Nusa Stair is getting beaten up anyway. Oh, <laughs> didn't dare we lose the devotion? Cool. <laughs> it's a constant back and forth. Uh, you guys have uh, the Gross Expansion Impact Rise, right? Yeah, that's gonna take a second. We need a full spy network anyway. Uh. I would use them to get in base manpower. <laughs> Alright, we wait for that. For this one we also need to wait. For this one we also need to wait. What do we have here? Oh, we actually have all of that. Oh, just click something then. Oh, we are currently in our golden era. Obviously. I was aware of that. This is not happening, right? Uh, if we put you as friendly, maybe then... Because that would be a good way to actually get them the, uh, the relationship up. We need to get 150 anyway. There are far too many connections here. Maybe if something drops... But that remains to be seen. <laughs> yeah, everything reached in court. Okay. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not actually this time we're gonna do the money. Corin, no worries, we're gonna stick around with you. Okay. We need that money probably somewhere around here. Any own con province has an integrated dwarven population. Huh. That's not uh, happening. <laughs> Yet. I mean, we have dwarves here, they are not, but they're not integrated. Uh, we, we also don't know... I mean, we do know a dwarf, technically. Huh. I mean, I guess we could attempt this one here. Uh, who do we drop, then? 
the under, so uh, I don't know, Raven March. Raven March is uh, tiny. Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry, Raven March. That ain't happening. This is a little bit of a little bit of a shame. Oh, you guys have the next uh, pro problem happening. Okay, so we don't need to do anything else here. Uh, and there, the opinion goes down. <sighs> yeah, that was just like, of course, happening, obviously. Well, we need three electors with a good opinion of us. I mean, we can kind of do uh, two birds with one stone here. Wait a second, is that all Vex? Holy shit, Vex! <laughs> that is very impressive. Okay. Uh, electors. That's what we're here for. Thomas Crown. You would not be my ally. Magisterium, also not, Moonhaven, uh, maybe Persage, nah these guys are all too far away from me for that. Why are you even like that likely to actually be my ally? It's actually surprising. I mean there, there is not a way to do this except through alliances. And yeah, the Magisterium is out. Moonhaven is an option, let's try Moonhaven. You guys were also very far away. BPEG is not that far away. Okay. Let's give this a try. The other way. I guess we're then are gonna build a, a, a fort here. Screw it. So, that is the last bit here. We get production, we get our horses uh, improved for a while. Lovely. <coughs> Halabor, Stalbor, and Alayon. Now, who is all actually involved in this? That's a good question. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Well, we don't have a connection here, so... We're not doing anything at the moment. Okay, there we go, we can do... Okay, we can do something here. You're gonna run here. You're once again uh, biting off a lot more than you can chew. I guess we're gonna send these guys over here, actually. Lovely. And with that we're gonna run here and attack the smaller army. As simple as that. Because if we take the smaller army, we can jump on these guys. That's not cool. But that should still... Ah, that's a mage leader. That's a weak one, but it's a mage leader. So you guys are coming in here. It's a lot of horses, but still might be enough. Okay. Okay, we can only click one thing here anyway. <laughs> uh, it's gonna give us the military resources of your grads stuff. Yeah, for this one we would need divine ideas, so I guess we're just gonna take that for now. Yeah. Does not have airs. I mean, this is gonna change some mechanics. Hmm. And but we don't have divine ideas, we're gonna do that. And we can then rank up. Lovely. That is gonna help us out here quite a bit, let me tell you. 
So, the militarists and the, uh, uh, and, uh, the theocrats. I mean, it's b both of these are good. Like, no, no matter what. So I don't mind who is currently in charge. Go on, beat him up. Uh, you are a lot better. And currently... Ah, no, this is just a loss, right? Yeah, a shame. Corin. In all four years we're gonna have another election and we can push into a certain direction. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, just throw the other guy throw the other guys out. There we go. We have this one done. And now we can negotiate with the patricians. So, we can completely throw them out and uh, ignore everything. They, I'm not sure if they get any other events that they're gonna pop up or something. But I feel like we are gonna turn them, well, <laughs> turn them into a merchant's guild. I mean, I think this is usually the best choice. Like they have very interesting stuff as as well. It, they don't want. They don't care what I do here, right? They just want me to have development. Okay. Yeah. So that's gonna remove you guys and move you in here. Thanks for the stability. All right, let's see here. Uh, we're not doing that. They are building regulations. This one would give a chunky development cost reduction and construction cost reduction and plus a number of magnum factories, but would do some other stuff everywhere else. Uh, this one we're of course gonna uh, throw in. That's just prestige. This one just gives base goods produced and more goods produced. Corruption, tax income. So much corruption. Manpower modifier, look at that, we don't need that at all. That is not monopoly. This is a point to backwards position, we're not doing that. City of Commerce, this one we would definitely want. No matter what. Bread caravans and river fleets. Makes sense. The other stuff we don't do at the moment. The development cost reduction we might do soon because we want to get we need to get you to 25 development. Oh, we actually only need you to get to 25 development. Okay. Uh, you need to... Recover. Clearly. It seems like these guys are also not very willing to uh, jump out yet. But we do have another diplomat now, actually. So that's interesting. Uh, who do we actually put in charge? The Fiocrats. Yeah, that's probably not as useful at the moment. The Militarists would be a lot more useful. But I assume that there are more events anyway. Oh, you also don't have a leader. Just realized. <laughs> uh, no. Speed up the clergy a little bit. They, ha they had it too good for long enough now anyway. <coughs> oh no, the Shadia yeah, is also part of this war. Okay. Uh, yeah, for a second I was like, there. you guys want to help me out in this fight? <laughs> Would be very cool. I mean, I'm doing a lot of stuff here for my allies. I think I might also just do that now. Because this is gonna take forever anyway. Uh, we do have the extra claims here. But we're gonna get more claims soon. But more importantly... Yeah, there is, there is some going on in terms of aggressive expansion. We can calm down for a second. I mean, one thing that we can clearly do with all of you is... Friendly. Friendly. And we're not far off from getting uh, the attention. Let's phrase it like this. Grand 
captain is dead. Uh, mm, I mean, you are only half cost. We're gonna have some more stuff to do here. Because I don't know what else I need to build at the moment. I mean, at the moment I need to get this uh, uh, either integrated dwarves or find some good friends. For this one I need to wait for Coronite and for this one I need to, well, find friends. Okay, that's gonna take a second then. I mean, let, let's just see what comes around. Clearly. That's not uh, a rush for anything. Yeah, this is also overall. I mean, I guess I could do the siege here. That is probably clever. I have this is a siege army after all. So, but admin is a, okay. We can also do military. This one we clearly want to do because we have all of the s other stuff done. Okay, you're now catching them off guard and wiping them. Lovely, absolutely lovely. We don't do. We don't need to do much more. Uh, we're not gonna click that, of course. We're not gonna step up. We are gonna. Death, I guess. I mean, we do need to get the development here anyway, so... Log development cost reduction. Let's also take a quick look here. I guess we're gonna put in this one, because this is just like... I mean, it's 20%. To others, we don't care about at the moment. Oh, this is 25%. But it does a, a, a lot of other... Unpleasant stuff. I think that increases development cost in other places. Of course, need to wait a year, right? But I feel like you guys are gonna be happy enough. Yeah. It doesn't say that here, but I think it does do that. Uh, yep, custom our first modifier gets uh, thrown onto every other province. Not yet, but soon. Let's wait a monthly tick. Our code mage is dead. Or does it? Does it say here? Oh, it doesn't. Wait. Shouldn't that do that? Maybe if it... I mean, if it doesn't do that, it's also fantastic. It's not like that. <coughs> I can live with that. <laughs> cool. Alright. Uh, you're gonna be in charge. So we have this development cost reduction, this one... Which gets you down to five. We're not done yet. Uh, this one. I mean, we have that corruption gain then. Unrest and mindful autonomy in other places. Does it do say anything here? No, this one doesn't say anything. And this doesn't say anything. I mean, we can't go much lower than that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's, ab that's about it for now. Ah, uh, the devotion we're not gonna say no to. Okay, well it looks like you guys have dealt fairly decently with stuff. Oh! There we go. Castlos is dead. Nobody cares. Ah, oh. get rid of this war. If I'm not, I'm gonna peace out myself. Just throw these guys out for fuck's sake. We cannot, we cannot be behind. Oh, I mean, this is gonna strengthen the fear grads quite a bit, and I do not want the. Ah, oh, but nah. I'm not sure what this guy ever do, did to you guys, but I guess it was quite a sin. Come on, just throw them out. You don't want anything from them. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, Alarion is out. You guys are gonna stay there until I'm done with uh, this organizing. So we cannot do any other uh, deafing here. 
Whatever. Uh, let's spend you elsewhere. Then. So. Oh, black flags. Okay. Oh, we have. Oh, does it uh, doesn't matter. The center of reformation is in our territory. Okay, then that doesn't matter at all. Good. Bono, wait. Okay, this is just a religious seal. This is not a center of reformation here. <laughs> oh. Well, to be honest, I guess we don't need to do that then. <laughs> That's a lot easier. We can also jump onto be into this one right away. I mean, it doesn't do much at the moment, but it's gonna give us another missionary. Well, time to convert stuff. Now, this is a little bit unpleasant because we converted these guys recently. But still, this is this is doing its work. So we didn't need, we didn't need to wait. Lovely. Now, of course, this is gonna make this a little bit unpleasant. Okay, you are no, you are no, you are no, you are also no. You guys still have the modifier. The covered actions. Okay, but the war is at least over. This is gonna be a lot more difficult than I expected it to be, this one mission here. <laughs> but at least we can do Silver Forge. We need to get to 200. How the hell are we gonna get to 200 uh, opinion with you? 140 we can get? Well, this is gonna be difficult. It's gonna be very difficult. Uh, we can also do more stuff here when we have the money. Okay, but the. Uh the Empire is pushing along. Fantastic. Uh, we can step up, of course. And yeah, it seems like we're doing fantastically fine here. On all of that. The fear, the fear grids take over, which is pr actually pretty good at the moment. How the hell do I do that with you? Oh well. Unless we, I guess we're stuck here. Now we just need to uh, get everything converted. No. I guess we could do that. Or thunder. I mean, yeah. Adarion is there. We are definitely, we definitely outchunked them. Hmm. But yeah, I feel like the conversion is gonna be <laughs> a, a little bit fast in our territory. No matter how you look at it. The question is now, do we have enough reductions already to start that again? Maybe we could give it a try, I mean it's just a subjugation after all. It's gone. Oh, well that's a thing, it's gonna take away a Diplo slot of us. It's gonna take away a Diplo slot. And that of course is not very cool. This is actually currently a good opportunity to, uh, maybe, to get these guys uh, uh, allied. Because they uh, might lose their, but uh, they might lose their alliances, as uh, they are getting eaten, eaten up. Hmm. Oh, look at that! Look at how quickly that converts here. Amazing. Oh, we would need to get another dwarven event. <laughs> that uh, that would also help. Kind of feel like I should like this is currently the problem. I want to do warfare, but the claims are missing. Clearly.
Do we actually also just... Uh, I mean, I guess I'm gonna just quickly, quickly get you to 25. So, something like that. Because I want to turn this one off again if I uh, don't need it. And for that we need to wait a lot here. Uh, admin. And we can give Gustav a lot of love here. That's not it. Yeah, look. We're nearly done <laughs> with the conversion. So. Okay, I assume that this is currently getting sieged. Yep. None of you guys is a a any closer on that, right? No, even further away, actually. We have some separatists. Luckily enough, we have everything protected. <coughs> so we can insult the rivals. That's, of course, always a thing. We can uh, proclaim guarantee, I guess. We can send them money, we can influence them, I guess we c we can reach what we want to reach. We can offer the military access. How much would that cost? I will see. I mean, I'm not filthy rich. I am a little bit better off. But not filthily rich. So I guess we just, we will have to do the dwarf stuff that way, clearly. This is going a little bit further, okay. Ah, there we go. <laughs> 118, okay, let's do that. Proclaim guarantee. We're doing a lot of things for this stupid <laughs> goddamn dwarfs. <laughs> Look at how much love we're giving you. But I guess we're also gonna end this episode here. So like always, like, subscribe, more shenanigans. I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!